Hey, nieces and nephews, it's your favorite auntie, Monique Judge, and this is Auntie Unfiltered. I have been stressing the fact that we do not have to let 2021 be the disaster that 2020 was, right? We can work on and focus on the things that we definitely have control over, right? So when something bad happens, I know it's a cliche, but people say you can take lemons and turn them into lemonade. And that is a very real thing. And the person who's joining me today is a clear example of that. She is my former coworker. She is an online phenomenon. She has built up her brand and is a superstar. She's blowing up. Her name is Danielle Young. How are you, Danielle? I'm good. I'm so good. I love that. Thank you. You got me feeling good. You should feel good. So to give some background, Danielle formerly worked at The Root. Um, she was one of our video producers here. She did a lot here. Then she moved on and went to Essence. Um, and then after a while of being at Essence, they parted ways involuntarily, right? Essence fired her. And instead of being down in the dumps, she did what? Tell us what happened, Danielle. Essence was a beacon for me. It was like a dream since a little girl, like, so after having that type of experience, I was like, I'm okay. I'm gonna see if I can do what I'm doing and see if it works, especially at a time where I decided I won't gonna be working no more jobs. So I needed to understand and still learning what it's like to be your own boss. It sound cute, but there's nobody there to give you deadlines. There's nobody there to like, be like, okay, Danielle, develop that show. Basically, you learn, you're learning still, like you said, how to run yourself like a business. And I'm learning literally as we speak, how to do, what to do, protecting my intellectual property, trademarking things that I have developed. Um, like all of that stuff makes my eyes gloss over. Mm -hmm. But I understand, and it's so funny because I had an episode of, of the Danielle Young Show about ownership. And I talked, I had a round table with different entrepreneurs and one of them, shout out to Ashley Fuyol of Unwrapped. She, re, she was like really talking about the idea of like, I'm the creative, I wanna make these pretty things, but I wasn't focused on the business. So here I am making these pretty things and whatever, but I didn't realize that I was cheating myself on the money. I was paying more for the product than I was charging for it. And so she was like, I had to really sit down and figure and like learn the business. So there's just so many aspects to it that like I would, in a former me would have been like, mm -mm, I ain't ready for that. But now I'm like, when there is more for you, more is required from you. And so I understand that I'm gonna have to step into what business looks like. I know, I imagine that you had to reach out to people to try to get these interviews going. So what did you do and how did that work out? I've had these relationships all these years. Um, so I was like, why not tap into them? One of the things that you like have to get into is asking for help. <laughs> Cause I do everything myself and have done everything myself for so long. So asking for help and asking for people to like do things, not do things for you, but like, Hey, would you want to do this interview? Or, Hey, could you connect me with, I had to get used to that. Um, because I didn't have the essence.com behind my email address. And so it was just like, you know, using, um, those relationships in a way that people understood that what I was trying to build was bigger than just trying to get some person on my Instagram. Um, and so having, especially having somebody like Lena Way sign on to do real quick early, like she was one of my first episodes and to have her do it so enthusiastically, that obviously was like a, a, a basic advertisement for the show essentially. And so asking other people who are on her level um, it was easier to do. And also now I have this. So yeah, I just, it was like, it was like a little web of, of relationships that really helped grow this, this thing early. All right. So girl, let me tell you something. The one thing that I saw that made my eyeballs pop out. Talk to us about the Ivy Park box, bitch. Beyonce sent you a box. <laughs> 
I gotta hydrate for that. <laughs> what? I just knew that that was not for real, but it was for real. Like I thank thank you to Yvette Noel Noel Shore. That is Beyonce's amazing publicist. She is just like a godsend. I feel like she just be watching me and championing me. She, like a lot of the people that have been um, endeared towards me during this time have been just like absolute cheerleaders and angels. I'm not saying Beyonce got to the post office and put the stuff in the box and was like here, but I know that Yvette had a lot to do with that. And I feel like it's it just, it means something different. Because like, I have worked so hard for so long without caring who sees me or what list I could be on or what thing I could get. I just wanted to like do, like for real, just like do this work, like just let me in the room. And so now I'm just like, it is not needed. Validation for me is not needed. No, it's really not. But encouragement, and like evidence of job well done is, is different. It seems very much in the same arena of validation, but it's, I think the intention behind it or what I'm getting from it is different. It's not an ego stroke. It's like, wow, people are really like, they really messing with what I'm doing. Yeah. And that's different. That's cool. That's on something else. I'm sure it has to feel very fulfilling, right? You've been doing this work and it's paying off. It really is crazy because I never knew what paying off was or what that like what that looks like. Because for me, it was just being able to like really survive and do this stuff, like this journalism stuff, all the aspects of it I've always loved from carpet to the written word and now into multimedia with, you know, on on camera and producing. Like, I just love it. And it's so crazy that it could be something connected to like financial, like changing, changing the scope of my finances, changing generational you know disparities that have that have kept my my people my my specific family in a certain place and i feel like i'm elev i'm getting to elevate that in a way you're doing the damn thing and i know you're going to go into big spaces and big places Receive. and we want you to get all the best sis cuz you're doing that's it and you're doing it for you yes that's the biggest most like refreshing thing is that this is really something that I am building. So you can follow her on Instagram. It's the Danielle Young on Instagram. Are you still Rapsodani on Twitter? I am, I am. All right, so it's Rapsodani on Twitter. Um, watch her shows, leave her comments, show her some love. Black media is important and she is showing you the way. So study because guess what? She's showing you the possibilities. Come on, Monique. <laughs> As always, I want to hear from y'all. So if you have questions, comments, concerns, if you need advice, or even if you have a topic you think I should discuss, please email me at auntiesubmissions at theroot.com and I'll see y'all next week. Peace.